Because you guys are like, what is going on? <laughs> hmm. The cultural edition of East Flash has been fully activated because today is Cultural Diversity Day right here on TVC. And we are here in all our glamorous attire to make your transition into the weekend. A smooth one. That's all right. The Cultural Diversity Day has been set aside to celebrate our unique and diverse workforce, as well as showcasing our various heritages within TVC Communications with the aim of fostering team spirit among us all. Yes, to my reverse people in the building, in your way, hey. area that has been said. It's a few minutes after 12 p.m. and you know that mm -hmm. whether it is the weekend or a weekday, we keep the vibe going from now to 2 p.m. ready to turn up as we usher in the weekend, which we have already started right here at the TVC. Yes. Yes. All right. <laughs> Without wasting any time, I don't know if I should say Samanayabo. You should. You should do. So what should we Let say? Let me just see. No, it's, can you say Amanayabo? Amanayabo. Amanayabo. Okay, that's like chief. You know, so, so. All right. Yes, okay. I'm <laughs> la, 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 in the okay. building today. Let's just leave it at that. All right. So, yes, I am representing South Africa today. <laughs> and I am proudly African. <laughs> and this is Zulu, to be precise. So, I've got the Isichelo. I've got the animal skin. I've got the accessories and everything. Mm. Okay? All right. So, it's your homegirl right here. It's your girlfriend next door. Mm. It's a jewel in the crowd. Boom, it's the boom, hostess boom. with the most test. And, well, it says honish money. Hey. Honey sassy. Hey. Honey money. Hey. Honey rubber. Hey. Honey, what do you want to do? Honey, honey my oh, no. Honey, 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 honey. honey Mafikizolo. Well, so, yes, mm. thank you so much, Gala. Gala uh -huh. named me mm. Mafikizolo today. Mm. Uh. The name is <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Don't you just love to be African? Oh, yes, yes we do. Yeah. All right, guys, so I'm representing Ghana. Yay! Mm. I'm proud to be an African, too. And this Aquaba. is the Ashanti crowd. <laughs> Yay! So, guys, today, you know my name. My name is Catherine, and you can also call me Lady Cat, how real hotness, or Kit Cat, or Nana Kate. Okay. So, are you saying that we're going to eat like boiled egg and pie My sister, and that's and what the after party Okay! okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, here's what we have lined up for you all today. We will be kicking off with the entertainment news check out celebrity birthdays then we will be rewinding to this day in entertainment history yes we will be joined by our very first guest who will be here to talk to us about her musical journey after which uh, Catherine from ghana will be our social view plug for the day on the other half of the show, one of us will be showing gratitude on the Tree It Off segment. We'll also be taking the news recap, after which we will be joined by another guest. And this time from the Big Brother Nigeria reality show. Well, today's Daily Tip 5 will be a special package courtesy Lush Air on Five Ways to Rock Braids. We'll also be having another guest from the Big Brother Nigeria reality show again. We will then wrap it all up in Grand Style with today's Happiness, Happiness is Free! free. Let's go, because happiness is free, guys. Hey! Yay! <laughs> Aquaba, my people! Welcome back to the show, guys. It is now time for entertainment news. And topping our stories today, well, Nigerian artists dominate AFRIMA 2021 nominations list. Yeah! The African Union Commission, AUC, and the International Committee of All Africa Music Awards, AFRIMA, has released its 2021 nominees list. Leading the nomination list, South Africa's sensation duo Black Diamond has eight nods for their song Somayo Muthi, while fellow South African artist Focalistic follows closely with seven nominations. Nigerian artist Whiskey has six nominations, which includes Artist of the Year in Africa, Best Male Artist in West Africa, Album of the Year, Best African Collaboration, Song of the Year in Africa, and Best Artist Duo or Group in Africa, R&B Soul. Omale, Pataranking, and Davido claimed for nominations each, while Burner Boy, Thames, Olakira, Vector, Tiwa Savage, Bellish Morda have three nominations each. Other Nigerian acts nominated also include Yemi Alade, Ladi Po, The Isomers, and Cavemen, who have two nominations each. The nominations list features over 400 songs from artists in the 30 continental and 10 regional categories cutting across African talent and creatives living on the continent and in the diaspora. The All African Music Awards AFRIMA will be broadcast live on 84 television stations in 109 countries from Lagos, Nigeria in the month of November this year.
<laughs> this is really amazing. Amazing, yep. amazing. Wonderful can, things people are doing. You can definitely say, exactly. You can definitely say that um, Africans are doing amazing. I mean, compared to back then and now, there's been such a huge growth. Yeah. I mean, congratulations to everybody who has been nominated. David, Wiz. We're not surprised to even hear these names, to be honest, because oh, they've no been way, on the no scene way. for a while and they've been doing amazing and things. And then we too. have Bella Shmurda. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yes. yes. Interesting stuff. Yeah. All right, moving on. Jason Derulo and girlfriend Jenna Firms break up. The relationship between American singer Jason Derulo and his model girlfriend Jenna seems to have hit a roadblock, confirming the breakup, the singer made the announcement on social media where he wrote, Jenna and I have decided to part ways. She's an amazing mother, but we feel being apart at this time will allow us to be the best versions of ourselves and the best parents we could be. Please respect our privacy in this time. Just so you know, Jason and Jenna met in 2020, just before the pandemic, and they share a four-month-old son together. Jenna Frums has since deleted our birthday post to Jason, uh, but has kept up other photos with our ex on our Instagram page. Now, what does this hmm. even tell you? Uh. I, don't know what to say. I was hoping this relationship was going to work out. I mean, Jason has been looking very happy. Yes, he has. Time. So hearing this is just like so much craziness. But and then I mean, deleting his own pictures. No, she didn't delete no, all no, his pictures. No, not his pictures, just not all. that then birthday. Keeping the exes. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, when when I actually saw the news, I was like, I was actually rooting for this relationship because, like Dallas said, Jason hasn't looked happier in yeah. a very long time. And then when the baby came, it was like. More sprinkle of happiness. And then now, four months after all of this, wow. But the good thing is they're still good friends. They're still posting pictures of each other, mm -hmm. co-parenting. And he came out to state the fact that it is nobody's fault. They just can't work anymore. Yeah, at least nobody is leaking um, voice notes. And... Yes, or video. Uh, I hope we don't have to wait for that. <laughs> no, we don't have okay. to. Yeah. All right, guys, that's all we can take on entertainment <laughs> news today. It is now time for celebrity birthday shout out. First on our list in alphabetical order, we have Nia Vardalos, who is 59 today. She's a Canadian actress, screenwriter, director and producer who had her first major success with her 2002 film, My Big Fat Greek Wedding, which she wrote and starred in. Yep, saw that movie and I absolutely loved it. She's an amazing actress and happy birthday to her. Happy birthday. Happy birthday yeah. to her. Also on our list today, we have Shegwan Rize, who is 56 today. Shegwan Rize is a Nollywood prolific actor and singer. He studied dramatic, dramatic art at the Obafemi Aulo University. He's popularly known as Black Arrow, which he gained from a role he played. You know, whenever I see a movie and I see Shegwan Rize in it, I'm like, hmm, okay. It's going to be an interesting one. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to, to him. Rize. All right, also on our list today, we have Shola Alisin, who is a year older today. She's a Nigerian soul, folk, and gospel singer and songwriter. She came into limelight with the hit album Ejiowuro in 2003, which was a soundtrack album for a film of the same title. She's also popular for making music covers for Nigerian movies. And I must say her voice is amazing. Hey, big happy birthday to her. That's again. Tony Oifolayo is 62 today, guys. <laughs> Popularly known as Lola Idije, she's a Nollywood actress who shot into the limelight after starring as Madame Adisa in a 1999 film titled Deadly Affair. Quick fact, she's an aunt to Nigerian filmmaker Konle Afonlayo. Yeah, so filmmaker is in the family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I heard the Afonlayo name, I just said, see, this is their family <laughs> member. This is, happy birthday to her, she's and amazing. And she, she's used as memes too. <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> also, we have Wale Adenuga, who is 71 today. He's a Nigerian former cartoonist, publisher, and currently an award-winning series producer, best known for the production of Binta and Friends, Papa Ajasko, Super Story, and others through his own production company, Wale Adenuga Production. Nigeria number one. 
Yeah, he definitely oh. he definitely was a part of our childhood and yes, our growing up because I mean Papa Jasko was so big, you know Boyalinko, he's Papa a pepe, Jasko. Yeah. I think that he I used think... to even have magazine, you know, and uh, all he's, that. He's a yes. hustler. He's a hustler. And even at this age, he's still putting in like amazing work. So yeah. happy and birthday it, to him. And his production company is still dishing us back to back. <laughs> it's amazing stuff. Happy birthday to him. And a very big happy birthday to every single person out there celebrating today was sharing all the loves and kisses, sharing you love and light, and African love, basically. Yeah, because we are proudly Africans. African. Oh, uh -oh. All right, Adekle Gold right there with Enu O'Shea. All right, our first guest today is an Arjun singer, songwriter. He rose to recognition in 2015 when she released a song for Body featuring Olamide. Fast forward to 2021, she has a brand new one out, I mean, at the moment, titled Body Language. Guys, welcome to the show, Sukomi! Hey. Sukomi Music! Yeah. <laughs> How you doing? Very well. All right, good to know. I love it. Thank you! <laughs> You're awesome. That's so lovely. Thank you so much, thank yeah. you. So, I went through your page, of course, oh. I've heard about you, especially yeah. uh, when you did that one with Olamide, and uh, moving forward, and now you have this. But I noticed that you took a break. Yeah. Why was that? And, you know, now that you're back, what do you have for us? Okay, yeah. I took a break. I uh, actually had to. I figured out that I needed to bring something more to the table. Okay. But I had just been a singer. Oh. So I went back to music school to study sound engineering and okay. production. So, yeah. So I'm back now. <laughs> with okay. full force. Yeah, and I have a new one. Body language EP actually. I have a six tracks EP, a six tracks EP right now out. And body language, we just shot a video recently, um, directed by TG Omori. I'm sure it's something you guys will love when you listen to it. Afrobeat. Okay, so now that you went back to school and you're back, you're a songwriter, you're an art you're an artist, and yeah. then now the sound engineering. Yeah, Did you produce any of the songs on, on your the EP? EP. Okay, because this is my debut EP, I wouldn't want to take that chance <laughs> right now. <laughs> so, but I have songs coming in my next EP mm -hmm. that is being produced and mastered by me. Mm, nice. Yeah. I like the fact that you said you went to school to learn this because yeah. you didn't start off studying music. You understand? You studying geophysics. Physics. Yeah, yeah. Why? <laughs> <laughs> How? <laughs> okay, uh, you know, Nigerian parents, um, growing up, Yeah. I was told that I was really bright. My my dad was saying that you're yeah, going to be a science student. You can yeah. do this, you can do that. So actually, I was supposed to settle for medicine, but you know, mm. um, Nigerian cut of mark jam and everything. Yeah. So I wasn't admitted for medicine. So they gave me a course related to my cut of mark. So that was how I found myself in geophysics. So how did you not find yourself in music <laughs> in after music. geophysics? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, because. At the end of the day, I started realizing what I was made, um, made for. Okay. I knew that music is the only thing that I would do that I don't even feel like I'm doing anything at mm, all. Okay. So I had to follow my passion. So all right, so that. seeing that it took you seven years after your debut to yeah. drop your debut EP, <laughs> Body Language, <laughs> I'm sure there's a backstory to that. What inspired the title, Body Language, and what exactly is it about the six tracks on the EP? Okay. Body language is me trying to let my fans know that I've never really left them. Like, okay. I've always mm -hmm. had them in my mind, at the oh, back wow. of my mind. Like, you were listening yes, to them? Yes, you understand that. You, you, you could tell from my body language that I've, I've never left. I'm still here. In fact, I, I went back to bring more firearms, <laughs> as if for you guys to, for them to be able to connect with me. Even this is my EP, you'll see that it's like, it has different genres in it. I actually want them to feel like, okay, if it's, R and B, you guys really love. We are vibing to now. I have it. If it's I'm a piano, it's uh, it's there. Then if it's Afrobeat, so I make sure I I uh, want to combine the genres okay. for them to really connect to Sukomi, and like it's just for them to be able to say, okay, Sukomi is back. I could tell from her body language that she's back. Mm. I could tell from the body of work. Mm. And there's this particular track in the uh, EP that is named Body Language itself. That is like a love song telling a guy that I've been, can't you see? I can't get you get the kids? Mm. Hey. <laughs> I've been doing everything now, but you're not even looking. Guy, Amazing. what's up? 
So basically, that's all. What the Amazing. All right. So <laughs> we're still here, and we are still going to be talking about more music. But let's go on a quick music break, and we will be right back. What? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Hey. So <laughs> oh, we have to do something right there because of yeah. MBC. Now, what yeah. for you? Uh, <laughs> your eyes. <laughs> okay. So I know that you belong to a record yeah. label. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I really want to know how they took it. Is it that you just joined this record label, or this has always been your record label? How did you take so much break? I mean, for so long and they didn't say anything about it or is it your own record oh. label okay it's more or less like a family label okay okay yeah it's a family label all right so, so they allow you to do anything you want to eh, no it's not that but they really understood that i needed to bring something to the table okay. i made them understand that okay this is it i've been there i've been, i've done that because when i had that single with alarm it was very loud okay you understand? but i still had some challenges moving forward as a female artist which i felt like doesn't it's not making any I don't want I don't want to <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> as in it's not really connecting with my spirit. Okay. okay. I felt like you can't just tell me to do what I don't want to do just because I want to get to a certain position. You understand? So I have to take like a giant step back okay. and really watch like okay what what what's that thing that I need to do to be able to just have things my way. You understand? Yeah. So, so I saw that I just needed to I <laughs> so I was able to just Talk to them. Like, okay. I need to do this, that, that, that. Right. Yeah. To be able to get this, that, that, that. Okay. So All right, that's, that's really, really amazing. So now that you've dropped your EP, were you actually pressured by the label that you had to drop something, mm -hmm. do something, or it was just a communication thing and you were like, I'm ready to do this? Mm, okay, before the EP, I dropped a single, Your Love. That was back in 2020. Then we didn't shoot a video for it. But the streams I got, I, I was like, okay, like, this is why really ready for me now. So everybody saw it, I was like, so come, wow. Without video, without even doing plays and everything, that means your fans are really ready for you now and all that. So we started working, like, okay, it's time for EP and everything. So I just started working. It took me like a year to get, the, to get that. Wow. Oh. Yeah. All right, so out of all the celebrities, like, you could have um, worked with, yeah. you picked Olamide. Why and what was it like working with him? Because you know, we we'll hear stories about people that say, ah, he, was, he did not show up on the day of the shoot. He did not <laughs> this, he did not that. So how yeah. was it like working with him and why Olamide? I feel Olamide is a very pleasant person. I feel like people saying that I uh, need to apologize to him because, <laughs> because um, uh, okay, before the, what's called, the song with Olamide, I had a song too, it was really big, Singale. So I wanted a remix. Singale was produced by Young John. And obviously, Young John is also Olamide's yeah, producer yeah. and everything. So there was this day I went to Olamide's house with a DJ friend of mine. And DJ was about to introduce me. And Olamide was like, was like, no, don't tell me about her. I know her. She's showing her. She has a big song hey. out there. I was like, wow. wow. Very humble. You know, because, you know, <laughs> artists, so, as an A-list artist, will never recognize you like that. Yeah. You understand? So I was like, are you for He knows me. <laughs> so moving forward. Singale needed a remix because it was now big and okay. I, I wanted it to be bigger. So I spoke to Young John because Young John produced it like, okay, Young John, what do you think? Well, like, oh, let me tell you, you have a lot of options. There was this day I was, I was in Olamide's studio. We were vibing, then they were recording a song with Fino and Fino called me Singale boy. So Fino knows you, everybody knows you. So just speak from the options. Yeah. I'm like, are you for real? So I'm like, okay, obviously Olamide. <laughs> <laughs> so when uh, Young John pulled a coach, we were like, yeah, sure. And coming and all that. So work, working with him was a different story entirely. As in, it was just very the vibe, the <laughs> vibe on his own. All right. So what do we look forward to from here? I mean, body language is here. Yeah. Uh, are the concerts? Are the things that you have in the? Uh, I mean, what works do you have in the? Family? Yeah. Um, body language is the single of the EP. Yeah. So we plan to shoot more videos in the EP. Then afterwards, EP albums mm -hmm. and then concert, obviously before the year runs out. Yes. All right, Thank it's you. been really, really amazing having you on the show. Thank, Thank you. you so much for coming. Thank and that's so it with much. our first guest, guys. Socialville is next after this break. Hey, you know when you see us here, you know it, it's time for Socialville, where we'll be checking out the madness and craziness happening on social media. Yes. So don't, don't waste the time, please. Let's just get right into it. Yeah. Hey. I'm ready, oh, are you people ready? Of course. of course. So, the king of names makes a grand entry as the first person. And he's thinking about something, let's find out what it is. He said, when your mom beats you up and you're done crying, 
But start imagining leaving the house and starting a new life. Okay. Has any of you felt <laughs> like this before? If you feel like that, trust me, you should also think about the money you spend. When no, you I house. think everybody has felt it. Yeah. So as you're just like packing your things and going, and you're thinking of where am I going to exactly? And you're thinking, you don't even have money. Oh. You don't <laughs> My younger sister and I, one day we said, Mommy, Daddy, we are leaving there. They said, be going now. He said, you're not me, supposed to. I actually said, packed. Going. Actually packed, but I packed my neighbor's house. <laughs> He's not going And they accommodated you. For like 20 minutes. <laughs> uh -uh. I guess we'll greet you. So going back to your house. <laughs> oh my lord. Uh uh, this is, should I say, house husband? But let's find out if it's punishment or not. So, say, when you realize your wife has read all the messages on your phone, uh, hmm. so you start nobody doing... will tell you, you will start cleaning the house. You will start doing all the good things. You will do all the house chores. Yeah. Before she comes home, you have cooked the food. You see that chicken at the back? I know that chicken is going down after this thing. That chicken Before. can make it fast this day. This I, chicken cannot make it fast this day. I just like some women. See, they, they don't shout. And so you already know. The husband knows that something is happening, but she's not saying anything. She's serving you. She's giving you what she's even asking. What do you want? Is everything fine? But you are the one asking the question. You are the one on easy. You are the one asking the question. Because um, you know. Do you understand? This, is, conscience. this is why you need to know your partner. You can never really know anybody fully, but... Okay. Fully, true, sir. Okay. That was very valid, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next up, this one is saying, before you start fighting for land in your village, know the difference between glorious exit and, and gone. gone too soon. Wow. Glory, see, let me explain to you. It's people. for old people. Glorious, glorious exit, exit is for old people. Gone like, they were ripe. They went at the right age. From that kind of age. Mm. Let's say 75, 70, 70 80. But gone if too you don't soon. Want to die, your prime. Ah, you went you now went to offend your village. People. Don't want to My die brother, in your prime. Gone too ah. soon. Ah. But we still fight for the land, shall we? Uh, okay. Yes. It's my land. Because you're wearing traditional attire your... today. Yes. Okay. My able governor, governor. Oh, yes, I'm okay. wicked. We make sure that. So it's your staff that will help you to fight. Yes. Okay, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> this bros has done, he has called his friend. Let's see what happened. So, everything in this picture, you say, insult level by your own phones. Hey. If you don't have phone to snap selfie, you will be cut out of the picture. Boy, could I just easily crop them out now? No, you have to make a point. I have phone. You almost hmm. have phone. So yeah. Till then, uh, yeah. yeah. I, I like him. Yeah. What an encouragement. What a way to encourage I, I, actually, I like him. I like him. Okay, we're liking him. Okay, so this one is saying that being a celebrity is not easy. Enter poultry farm. See as far as they shout. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> This one loud. That child. one is animal celebrity. This one please, loud because I was about to drop on shots, but no, let me... please let's just move on. We're moved on. Ah. It's okay. So, you know, at a time. This was the house of a Nigerian big boy, you know? Uh, yes, now. Now you have this TV, you have this stereo, the woofer. There's a holy woofer. Woofer. Then this one. No, you see that lamp? If that you lamp. have that lamp, hey. you have no made it no. in life. That lamp. Uh, it is a rechargeable yeah. Yeah. That radio. Yeah. Yeah. The lights. Mm. My sister. Hmm. Oh. If you don't have that thing, I'm not a so big once boy. there's no light, just on your lamp, on your radio, see that. Ah. We used to enjoy that, yeah, Shah. Ah. That time, life used to be very good. Yeah. And then if but you miss... This, Different things have been invented. Instead of now that you have to pause, rewind, fast forward, this one, when you miss something in the film, just take your bio. It's two minutes. I did that Put it. And the tape must not cut to. My sister. And you have to roll it with. With cells. And it will start from where you stopped. Hmm. That's stop and play. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So this says my mom has only beaten me five times in my lifetime. The remaining 1,798 were attempted wow. murder. So let me explain to you people, if you don't know what this message is, normal beating is die, die, naughty child. But attempted murder is go, where's the moral go? Go! They use everything in the house to beat you, my sister. You now end up being cold and they still take care of you. Yeah, they will we... not come and give you food later and say, okay, you know. I think you still be touching your body. So, th sorry, this protest of not eating the food. So after <laughs> you've beaten me, I'll now still be hungry again and go to bed. For what? Ah. Uh -huh. I go chop. They will now be checking your temperature. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will not eat the food. And my mom, she will not do some annoying <laughs> stuff again. I, I know. Your back will say, don't say that your mom did annoying. She will just say, your mom ah, loves you. that you are not eating dinner. Oh, I've asked them to pack my food for me. So that, you know, like pouring salt on a wound. Like, I, I, I've asked them to pack my food for me. It's you, you're not hungry. So I'll be waiting for my dad. My daddy will be the one to come and console me. Uh, no. when, when people are even say, if you're more leave that child, your grandmother hmm. will say, 
Hey, me not only my thought, I'm the one that will still take care of him. <laughs> Let me be it, I will take care. Then I'll be asking you, are you okay? I'm a red, go no. She want a mogi. We all drink mogi. We... Then I'll start giving you all the food. Mm -hmm. My sister. Not to my house. After everything. <laughs> mm. You will be fine by yourself. Okay. You will be fine by yourself. Oh, your own. No, my mom's a nurse, so I... Oh, okay. And she not, she not to the Vitos, but mm -hmm. the eye, my okay. sister. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is, is it this kind of eye? This kind, this <laughs> the kind of eye. Oh, let me tell you. So let's read this. Say, British parents will say, keep quiet. Mm -hmm. American parents, shut your mouth. Jewish African parents. That eye. When but, my mother does that you eye. You see, this eye, Sha, mm. it, it worked. It worked. Mm. Because you have heard everything. Every, mm. You've heard it clear. No yeah. need to shout. Go to neighbor's house, and they say, do it in neighbor's house. And I say, do you want to eat? Just don't. See, see, hi, once you just Africa. look at the woman, they say. See, that is what you call it. understanding. <laughs> when somebody <laughs> asks you a question, just first look at your mother with corner of the It eye. is what mm. you grow up with, even as an adult. Ah. There is a way I'll look at that, like she knows what that's <laughs> There is a way I look at Catherine. She uh, knows she's Like when way. I say, only for which you should I? She already shoot today. Only for just give me. I say, sorry. Are we <laughs> In fact, she, all she has to do is look at which shoe, not point, and you already know. So, what you learn what you're about to say it's in the eye that the matter is you. When you look at somebody, you know when the person is lying. Yes. But not nowadays. Though. People used to do riaza. They will be looking you in the eye and be shocking you, my sister. But the ones that know you very well, they know that they you're know. lying. If you know, they, you they, know. They can you know, you know. now choose not to say anything, but they know. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, and that's the last one we have. That's all we can take today on Social Deal for the week. And, of course, the very first half hour of the show, too. We will be back at 1 for the second half of the show, More. so don't go nowhere. Welcome back to the second half of eSplash. So far, we have brought to you the news, celebrity birthdays, rewind, our very first guest, and social feel. It is now time to chew it off, and today being Friday, it is all about gratitude. I'm grateful that my mom helped me put this entire outfit together because... I have no idea what I would have done. <laughs> I'm also grateful to everyone that helped me put this outfit together. My <laughs> sister, Ramo, in Honey Pot Song. Yeah, I'm grateful to you. All right. So, uh, what am I grateful for? <sighs> I'm grateful for so many things, but particularly I am grateful for people who do not hold compliments back. Yes. You know, they see you and they're hyping you, they're complimenting you. Uh, you know, I think this is just so beautiful because, of course, uh, they have a choice. Yes. They can as well hold it back and not say anything. But I think it's just so beautiful to just let it out. And, you know, um, you know, it, it goes a very long way. Uh, I, for one, I always say that I really don't wait for any validation. And that is the truth. Mm -hmm. But that does not mean a compliment will not do. Like, you know, yeah. uh, when people say, oh, you look so gorgeous. Oh, they leave good comments for you. Mm -hmm. uh, and they notice something and genuinely they're telling you. Yeah. They're not holding it back. Right. Oh, you were so brilliant on that show. You know, and all that is just so beautiful and yes i am very grateful to everybody who uh helps me with putting this together was there anybody <laughs> You should say that there were, there were no animals harmed in the making, <laughs> the making of this, <laughs> of this <laughs> outfit, because girl, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm grateful for those people. Um, life is just so beautiful because one of the reasons life is just so beautiful is because of you. And I would say that you should just keep it up. People who know how to do that, because some people don't really know how to do it, especially the women folks, you know, yeah, they see you, you are looking good. But the way they will look at you from head to toe. Hmm. They like what you are wearing, you know. But they are not just saying anything. And they will look at you <laughs> like this. That you have to check yourself again if you don't really have the confidence. But, <laughs> hey. Is there anything that is wrong with me? <laughs> you know? Uh, so I used to I used to see that a lot. In fact, when I was in the university, there was a day like that that I was going to the academics and you know, <laughs> coming from the hostel. And somebody looked at me like this. I had to say, it's because they are looking good. But women, they will not say it. They will yeah. just look at you in a certain way and all of that. But I think it's just a very good thing to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dala does it all the time. Ah. Catherine does it. <laughs> Catherine. Hey, Catherine what? can kill you with compliments. What? Honey pot. <laughs> ah, I forgot to. Even if it was yesterday. <laughs> and that thing that you. Yeah. <laughs> Catherine! See, there's something with compliments. Growing up, my mom taught us that 
compliments actually help encourage people. Mm. And there are people that when they're not complimented, they feel down. You don't know how their day is going. Mm. But just that compliment. Don't give fake compliments. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. If it's not fine, don't say it's fine. That I don't like. Why? But give valid compliments mm -hmm. that will brighten the person's day. Because it could just be that, oh, you look nice. That will make the person feel good that day or for the rest of that week. Oh, Dala, you look... Now, <laughs> Hey, gorgeous! Dala. <laughs> oh, yeah. Amaya Nabo is on her way to oh, her. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you know, that actually means owner of town. Hey. But this dressing is actually called Iria. Hey. Okay. So you're supposed to just see this saucer. I'm yeah. just saying, God, let me not break it. Is it granite you want to put in it? No, your handkerchief. You put oh. your handkerchief inside, you know, mm. very classy. All right. Um, uh, if you want to marry a bass girl. Yes, we are. Yes. Yes. So we are here for hey. you. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> All right, moving on. Here's what we brought to you on the news today. We told you that Nigerian artists dominate Afri AFRIMA 2021 nominations list. All right, Jason Derulo and girlfriend Jenna Prims break up. All right, guys, we will be back after this break with our second guest. Jono. Honeybots, uh, why did you pick the Zulu culture today? Okay, so last year I went for Yoruba culture. Okay. And uh, initially I'd wanted to do like epic or, you know, something from Kalava. But hey. I think I did not just um, get everything, uh, okay. yes, that I wanted. So I felt, what else would I like? I mm -hmm. have um, Kenyan accessories at home. Mm -hmm. I have come on your view before with Kenyan accessories. And I'm yeah. like, okay, so what's that thing that is exciting? I've always loved uh, mm. the South African uh, Isicholo. I've always hey. loved the dressing. So I said, well, perhaps I can actually uh, <laughs> come, you know, <laughs> on the shirt with this one. And somehow it works. Yes. And yeah, I am yeah. super excited about it's, you know, exactly the way, the look, the accessories, mm -hmm. yeah. the hat. The shoes. The you shoes. Yes, because Hi. I see that they usually wear sneakers, white sneakers mm -hmm. on it. And I felt, why not? So we could actually do this. We are Africans that we are one. Yes, they are our brothers. And I felt, okay, let's just do this already. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Catherine, Ghana. My darling, it's all about promoting the African culture. I was, I was actually originally supposed to go with the Yoruba traditional outfit. Yeah. I had all the accessories, but I don't know. I wasn't really feeling it because I'm like, yes, I'm Yoruba mm -hmm. and everyone is expecting Yoruba. Let me give them something that they're not expecting. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to go with Hausa and I'm like, ah, okay, I couldn't get the outfit. And last minute I was talking to a friend who is a TikToker and she was like, you have this at home, right? You have the Ghanaian material at home. Why don't you just do something Ghanaian? I just went online, I'm like, oh, I can do this. And it was just last minute I brought the material because I couldn't get the beads. My youngest son was even upset that. <laughs> Why didn't I call her, send a picture and let her get the beads? She knew where to get them. So I guess I was just supposed to come as Nana Kate because hey. everything just pulled through this morning. Mm -hmm. Like last minute, I still thought I was going to come as a Yoruba girl. <laughs> and then I had this complete five yard that we just caught. Ke, ke, ke. <laughs> Let's do this. Ta, ta, ta. Okay. How about you? Uh, I, I wanted to come as, like, Wakanda. <laughs> hey, I know, right? But I was like, I don't know if that's a like valid culture in the list of cultures. Yeah, it was a I movie get, culture. I guess, yeah. Yeah. So I said, let me stick with my actual... Oh, we have seen a lot of Wakandas from you. Yes. Oh. Exactly. So I wanted to do something completely different. And I called my mom. Because we yesterday night, around 11, when I go home, my mom was like, don't worry, I'll sort you out. I was like, wish hey. stylish. <laughs> so she started putting everything together. Um, the beads around my um, knees. She got that for me this morning. She actually beaded it herself this oh, morning. Nice. Um, so I got the rings, the bracelets, everything. Oh. See, these beads are heavy. Why you see me like this? Eh? I cannot drop neck. Oh. So you see this one? Honey oh. actually touched this during social yeah. view and she was like, ah, ah. <laughs> yes, well this thing is so heavy. <laughs> and then um, somebody actually sent me a DM and said, ah, Iria. Then somebody said, um, Angel, the Angelic Touch stylist, he styles all the biggest celebrities in Nigeria. He now also sent me a message. He said, did you walk from your house like this because, because the area day, yeah. yeah area on a normal day they actually walk around the entire town like mm. this like barefoot with all of this holding the saucer and the handkerchief and then you're just giving them vibes like everybody has to see you sorry so, i have a question ma sorry to cut you short yes what happens if the handkerchief falls from the saucer no you pick it now okay yeah. uh, so it's one transition, it. I guess it's, 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 
it. But then don't forget that uh, you're going to call me or I put a call through tonight. I mm -hmm. want to say hello to Mrs. Oru, and I want to say I want to give a special shout out to Mr. Oru. No, Mr. Oru provided this walking yes, stick. Yes, I want to give so, a special so shout out. So we we actually call this Nkpra. Okay. okay. This is Nkpra. Oh, so you just give them your yeah. song, like stuff of all things. <laughs> all right, guys. Now you know the origins behind our outfits on the show today. <laughs> it is time for daily top five with the usual twist, haughty lost hair. Check this out, guys. Braid styles are a lot and it becomes hard to choose which to make because of the different styles and lengths, not forgetting colours, all made available by Lush Hair, which play an important role. Whether you're a more conservative braider or you love to go extra funky, we've got you covered. Let's check out 5 Ways to Rock Braids with Lush Hair. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, watch me. Waist length micro braids. It could be box braids or knotless braid. This is not for the faint of heart because it can be punishing on your neck with the weight of all that hair. On the plus side, it's long enough that you can wrap it as a scarf when it's chilly. Short and sweet bob. Such a chic length. Bobs are very popular haircuts and it can also translate into braid styles as well. This braid style frames your face and is always short, never long. Braided Bantu Knots You can really never go wrong with Bantu Knot and we're in love with this braided variation. We're always looking for new ways to rock this staple style and this will look great in any colour. Edgy Undercut It is not your average braided look. This is for the beauties who are not afraid of a close shave. Pairing braids with an undercut achieves a fire look that we can't get enough of. Shave one side of your hair and braid the rest to get this look. Houses Get the best of both worlds by doing a half braided half out style. If you already have full conros or braids, you can loosen half of the ends or sew in extensions to get a full half out style for an amazing houses style. It's such a fab look. Now you know the different ways to rock braids when you purchase Lush Hair Extensions. Today's Daily Top 5 was brought to you by Lush Hair. Alright guys, welcome back to the show and joining us on the show today is a Lagos based musician and actor <laughs> whose hobbies, I must say, include a whole lot. Hmm. Is someone who is really, really talented and his hobbies include making music, making movies, dancing and cooking and also... I want you to make me fall in love. Hey, you know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, help us welcome all the way from the Big Brother Nigeria reality show, Shine Your Eye, J4! Woo! 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 <laughs> Energy. What? It's the play. <laughs> You know, hey, yeah. Cheers, J Paul. Like yo, man, look at you. It's really look nice to have you Cheers. back. I feel good to be here, man. Da, 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 da. South Africa, Ghana, Nigeria. You give us more. You give us more Yoruba. To have you here, like, yeah, so, but really Jepo, nice. I was one of the people who complained uh, at the beginning that ah, ah, this Jepo is Seth. You were not seeing him, baby. They give us show. Yeah. <laughs> what is he still doing in this house? I beg. <laughs> you know, and then coming out and all the energy. Yeah. Uh, waiting up. All now. wrong now. See. All wrong. Now just you guys play your card. You know, mm -hmm. um, so in the beginning, yeah, mm -hmm. you know, when I first entered, I was so happy, you know, I was elated because I, I don't, I don't try this thing so many times mm -hmm. and I've gotten so close before Aww. and then making it through those doors was victory for me. So that beginning, I've been there so happy. So I was, you know, telling all my fellow housemates, you know, I'm, I'm, I made it to finally, this was my story before I made it in, you know, how I tried, this was my fourth time. Mm. And I don't know, say that same story, now you go come make them now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I became a target um, during the first week as well. We yeah, wild I, I thought out. Mm -hmm. Even me, I call the thing, say, I say, I be wild know. card. Me. You know, I call even ask Biggie, say, Big Brother, do the wild card know? That that I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so um, 
that was so after that happened that made me redraw just a little bit and mm -hmm. I thought, okay, you know, let me play my cards one by one, mm -hmm. you know, because I thought I had put all my cards on the table. Yeah. So now I wanted to play one by one. So, you know, when Ebuka can enter me, Ebuka say, ah, show down the end, do, yeah. what are you? And I wake up, I say, oh, yeah, now let's play, you know, so, and <laughs> I, I, I started, you know, coming back up real strong, you know, I was, I was doing a lot in the task, I was doing a lot in the house. I became more, you know, comfortable with my people, and my, my fellow housemates, so yeah, that's how you go. You I forgot to mention that you made money. Hey. I did make money. Hey. I did make money. How much uh, did you make? I made about 4.5. Hey. <laughs> so you came out richer. Well, uh -uh. yeah, yeah, I Nobody's did. Nobody's you know. a loser. Nobody, you Nobody. Ah. Nobody. Nobody. It's not even the money you make inside. Mm -hmm. Now the money where you go come make outside, outside. you know. Mm. So showing yourself to the world mm -hmm. and showing that, okay, this is what I could do. Because I know I was able to show a lot, you know, from my TV presentation skills. Yeah to um, movie cinematography, I was able to use the phones. Mm -hmm. So I did win a lot of tax, even, I mean, I showed my brain as well, how sometimes I'm smart, you know, so I was able, <laughs> <laughs> I was able to show, you know, um, a few of these things. And I'm, I'm, I have no regrets, mm. I have no regrets. I did, I did what I could do and I came out at the time I was meant to come out. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think so. So I realized that you were one of the few people that had a lot of fun with the tasks. Like, ah, it yes. was like, hey, hey to the yes. task. Oh. Like, you were ginger, you were jumping, you were doing all that. <laughs> and I'm like, Jibo, calm down. <laughs> and it didn't even look like you were doing it to win. It looked like you were doing it because it was genuinely yeah. fun. Yeah, it was. What task, and I think I know which one, but what task was your favorite one? Um, I would think, if I had to, right? Um, yeah. The one by... If I'm allowed to mention names, Techno, mm, right? Yeah. The one by Techno was really interesting. The first one where I was, in fact, I just wanted to do Folake, where <laughs> JMK acted as, you know, I was, they wanted, because I was the only guy yes. in, the, in the crew. Yeah. And I said, you know what? Let JMK act the okay. guy, the man, because people would be interested yeah. to see how she acts it. It might even give us extra points, you yeah. know? So I said, you know what? I'm good with mobile cinematography because I already shot a short mm -hmm. movie before yeah. using phone. So I said, you know what? Let me just shoot. From behind the scenes, I'll be able to shoot because, aside um, just the acting, yeah. the marks are also going to come from sh shooting, shooting and well. editing. Nice. So now I say, okay, you know, babes, you girls can do this. <laughs> you know, GMK was like, can I do this? I say, you are a, a natural Aristo. No worry. You know, <laughs> I like she's a natural. Yeah. And when she entered into character, mm -hmm. oh, JMK killed it. She mm -hmm. killed it. Everybody brought their A game. Um, Peace. Uh, Nini was in that yeah. group as well. Uh, it was beautiful. I love. I love that. Um, another one was the second techno task. Mm -hmm. That was more um, photography. Yeah. So what we did was me, Jackie B, and Emmanuel. Mm -hmm. So we had like different scenes. Um, we had uh, we had to tell the story mm -hmm. of how um, the new Phantom X uh, is beautiful and how good it is. So I was able to do that as well. Then another task was the Dano task. Mm. <laughs> that one was where <laughs> I was with white money. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the task was as you have fun. <laughs> hey. I literally enjoyed yeah, I did, I did. I actually enjoyed it. J4 aka yeah. Taskmaster. Bro, like see, when you're in that house, the boredom because I guess. It, there's so many hours and minutes that pass and you're not doing anything. So oh, wherever, you're looking forward to exert this thing. your energy. Yeah. <laughs> so for me that was like more because my brain is thinking and I'm like, mm -hmm. how do I get to you know in that every time every task comes up, it's like a challenge for me. I yeah. want to be able to say, okay. How can we come from this angle? How can we come? So it's always interesting to just mm -hmm. put it out there and be creative, yeah. Interesting. So, I mean, there are 1,001 things I would like to ask you. And mm. so let's go to... Ah, let's go. So at first, it was... <laughs> <laughs> it was Jackie like B. Mean, record. No, it was Jackie B that mm -hmm. you liked mm -hmm. and you spoke your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys, now, wow. <laughs> How was it easy for you to quickly move to Sasuke? Oh, no, um, it wasn't... I wouldn't say it was easy. Right, it was just we understood ourselves, okay. right? I did know that I had a certain level of likeness for Jackie B. I felt that she had emotional intelligence. Her emotional intelligence was rooftop. Okay. She's very cool, very calm-headed. Mm -hmm. And you know, see me, I know like drama, oh. not naturally. <laughs> so <laughs> so um, we did have a discussion. That was like the first week or so, you know. And um, we had a discussion. I was like, oh, how far do I like you? But let me with us divide, you know? And she was like, yeah, yeah, but she likes me on this certain level. And we had that discussion, and <clears> that <throat> was it. It was good. It was a good thing we had that kind of discussion because what we have now is even more beautiful. We're like twins. We're like siblings, you know? And I'm there for her. She's there for me. And you saw how we rode through the house. Even when we had the double HOH together, yeah. it was so much fun. 
So, Sasuke, <laughs> and then it was like a triangle because you had cross in that mix. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I really want to know how you did it. Hey, oh hey, no. smooth. It was so smooth. <laughs> I mean, how smooth did you do criminal. that? She chose you over cross. Hmm. She shows me, I don't know, well. well. <laughs> because, uh, because at the end of the day, it was what? And you kissed before you left, like yeah. you locked lips yeah, so when you were leaving. Yeah, we uh, you, you got her flowers. Yeah, so did. what are we talking about? So, um, flowers. The thing is, um, <laughs> there was, yeah, yeah, there was definitely a triangle going on, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. um, Cross liked her. I also liked her. Mm. Um, so at the end of the day, there was, a lot of people were expecting confrontation. And I was never going, I would never have conf confronted um, Cross violently in any way. Mm -hmm. Because I think Cross is a great guy. Yeah. Trust me, Cross is an yeah. amazing guy. You know, get bad vibe. You get, and nobody has any bad thing against him. So it's the kind of guy where I thought, even after the house, we go still they chill together, we go do things. You know, and I wanted to keep it on that level. And mm -hmm. I also put myself in his shoes, like, ah, if I did this guy's shoes, how I would it feel? You know, because initially, you know, when I had a discussion with her, uh, I realized that. I thought Cross was came be, was there, told her about his, his feelings before I did, and um, it's only now that I'm beginning to hear that oh maybe I actually did before Cross did, but that wasn't it. Um, for me, and then for her, she was in a situation where she didn't want to break anybody's heart. Yeah, you get. Yeah. She liked the relationship she had with Cross, and she liked the relationship she had with me. And then being in those in that world where every day you have to wake up and see the same, see the same faces, mm. you don't want to have negative vibe, you know. So yeah. she was trying to maintain that. At some point, she could just clear us <laughs> up. Just say, I'm tired. You people are giving me, you know. But um, I didn't want to put pressure on her in any way. You know, I was always telling her, you know, have your phone. Make sure that this doesn't disturb your game. Doesn't, you know, because she's an amazing person. All right. Yeah, but I know so, I saw an interview where um, she said something about she wasn't serious with anybody. Uh, how do you feel? Uh, um, um, <laughs> <the> thing is, <laughs> we had a special connection in the house. And outside. But, now that she's out. Uh, and her boyfriend that she was talking about. Hey, <laughs> hey. Who sent you to me? Hey, how's that equation? <laughs> but um, definitely, we had a spe special connection in the mm. house. Um, but I, I've not officially asked her out and said, would you okay. be my girl okay. or anything. Would you do? <clears throat> um, would I? Well, let's see. Oh, uh, OK, Mr. Let's see. Well, the thing is, um, she still has a lot, especially now. She has a lot to, to decide, a yeah, career or... part and all that stuff. So. That is just distraction and pressure that okay. she doesn't really need at this point. Right now, she just needs good friends who will just, you know. This one that you are her. speaking for, that she does not really need all these guys. Please let go on this break. Welcome, 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 welcome back to the show. We still have our evicted uh, big brother, Nigel Shine, your eye housemates, Mr. Flames, aka okay, J Paul in the building. Um, we actually just watched your video. Yes, we did. Hey. Oh, yes. Hey, yes. Is that something we're going to be getting I'm more shy, of? I'm shy, I'm shy. You say I'm shy, I'm you shy. calm down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is that something we're going to be getting more oh, of um, now that you're out the house? Most definitely, most okay. definitely. Before I even went into the house, I had done mm. so much work already. Um, archived, you know, so now it's just for me to just be throwing it out one by one. I just do. be giving you back to back. I you do. understand? You know, go even breed. Honey pop, but also go to choke. <laughs> Okay, so now it's fire back. Yes. <laughs> okay, I, I am here for it. Thank Everything. you, thank you, thank you so much. All right, much. so let's talk about the show. The show is still on the Big Brother Niger show. So yeah. who is your winner and who are your top three contestants? Oh, wow. Uh, so when they asked me this question last week, I was saying Sasuke. Is this love? Is this love? breakfast? Uh, yes, I'm full. Hey! Oh. <laughs> no, we have different things though, because outside you can see that there is a big tent. It's yes. okay, so yeah, okay. yeah, buffet. It's fine, thank so you. So who is that? <laughs> I'm, I'm very okay. <laughs> um, so, so my my top three right now, are more than plenty sharp, but I'll definitely pick cross. Mm -hmm. I'll pick white money and I'll pick liquor rose. Okay. Mm -hmm. Top three. Top three. Top three. All right. So now tell us, uh, since you, we have talked about music, yeah. we know that you present. Yeah. Uh, what else are we looking forward to? What mm -hmm. are your plans moving on? Okay. So um, I'll generalize it. I, I always say I, I'm, I want to be the Jay-Z of the African entertainment industry. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, so definitely I want to host the biggest TV shows, the biggest TV gigs. When you turn on your TV, you see my face. Hey. Um, you want to take somebody's job? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Don't say that one, don't say that one. <laughs> um, Definitely also, I want you to turn on your radio and hear my music. Mm -hmm. I want to be everywhere. I want to be the definition of a reality TV hmm. star. Wow. You know, the actual definition. 
Well, um, he's already closed, Jay Paul, yeah. Jay <laughs> <laughs> As well as a businessman you that you are already. <laughs> yeah, my cinematography skills as well, I want to show it, you know, mm -hmm. through all short movies, tell our stories from Africa. And then before I went into the house, um, there was a business, there is a business yeah. that I'm, I'm co, uh, I co-founded as well okay. with mm -hmm. my amazing business partner and uh, CEO, uh, Mrs. Jumba Kaiser. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's called Made in Calabar Limited. Oh, wow. So we are the founders of Made in Calabar Kitchens. Mm. So we cook all the eggplant. Hey. Oh, no wonder you asked me if I like our oh, 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 yes. oh, 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 Ah, sorry, sorry. I did not get the memo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before we go, guys, here is this week's reminder that happiness is absolutely free. It's all about cultural show off. We're showing off our culture, the African culture. Mm -hmm. And I'm really happy I did this with Masike Zolo Honeport and so it's Amayanabo. Amayanabo okay. Dala. Thank you. <laughs> all right, guys. It is Nana Kate. And it's been amazing with you guys. Bye for now. See you guys next week. Hey.